Hey guys, James with Esprit Model Jetty USA, and we wanted to come in today and show you guys uh, how you would handle a situation where you want to fly your small bind and fly or Horizon Hobbies product. We get that question a lot when guys are shopping the radio and they're afraid that they'll have to give up their, their guilty pleasure toys. Uh, one of the ways that you can do that is by setting up a bridge box. Uh, we've, what we've done is I've brought along the one that we set up here for the shop. And it consists of a couple really simple parts. Uh, one of those is a jetty receiver. We use the R4L in this uh, example. And then we use the DIY 2.4 DSMX module from Hobby King. Uh, it's a nice little setup. It doesn't have a case, doesn't take up a lot of space. It comes pre-wired with a PPM input wire. Uh, it actually has the pins on the wire, but no housing. So you simply remove the heat shrink from the pins, grab a uh, JR servo housing, pop it in there, and you're all set to plug that into your receiver. And you'll see that wire going into the receiver here. The other things you'll need is some way to power the receiver. And I've used a JST or mini JST connector plugged into one of the ports in the receiver. And then, of course, I have a whip here for somebody to bind it to another radio. Uh, the Hobby King transmitter module comes with the antenna extension and the antenna, comes with a bind button, and it comes with an LED indicator so you know when it's on. Very easy to set up. There's no programming to do. Once you've plugged that in, converted the receiver over to PPM, you're pretty much off and running. So I brought along one of my son's toys. We're going to kind of give you an idea how this works. This is a small bind and fly micro quad. So we're going to go ahead and you power that up without your transmitter module on, just like you would if you were running with the Horizon radios or the Spectrum radios. Once that goes into a fast or rapid blue blink, that tells us it's in bind mode. So then we're going to go ahead and hold the bind button on our transmitter module and power it up. And once we've done that, we'll be able to... Uh, to grab or bind to that to that micro and we'll be able to make that work. It helps if you plug the battery in the right way. There we go. You'll hear a beep from my module. And then we'll go to bind on the small micro quad. And there we go. And we're bound. So you'll notice now if I reach across here, we have full control. I don't want it to skate off the table on me. But that's it. That's the easiest way to handle the Bind and Fly Micro product if you want to fly Jetty Radio. If you have any questions, reach out to us at JettyUSA or EspreeModel.com. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.